Frank, is uh, while we're waiting for some questions to come in, uh, I'd like to uh, maybe just cover just a little bit more about the uh, the trusts in regarding to location trusts, for an example, for yep. uh, for Promised Land. Any uh, any yes. a- answers on that? Yeah, what you'll find is that there is a number <clears throat> that is your location trust, and if anyone has registered. Um, just let me clear one thing up. When we talk about registering on uh, One Heaven, everyone is a member by default, but the, what the registration does is effectively redeems your number. That's all it is. If you have registered on the side of One Heaven and you have completed all the screens, so you've got to the trustee oath then you've agreed to the trustee oath, then you will also automatically have your promised land record and your live born record. Now what a promised land record is, it is your proof of a divine right of lawful possession of land for the purpose of a domicile. It does not mean that you can then walk down the road and confiscate someone's land. That's not what it means. That's not lawful possession. Article 44 I think it is, of the covenant, gives a description as to what is lawful possession. But what the promised land record does is it fulfills a promise that was made to everyone a long, long time ago by the divine. And unfortunately, successive leaderships never delivered. They said they would. They promised they would. They never did. So this is an honour that has been long time coming. What the trust is, is the trust that is created as a true trust, holding a divine right. The first two letters is the uh, call sign of the particular society in which you currently reside. So if I'm in the United States, it's UA. If I'm in Canada, it's CA. These are these are identifications, and there is a link to a full list, and those um, prefixes are listed in a complete list. I think that can comes off uh, one of the pages. I think I'll have to make sure that it's it's right throughout everything. There we go. The two letter code. Hello. 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 Uh, we believe uh, we've just uh, uh, lost Frank there. Uh, but anyway, is I'll try and see if we can uh, <clears throat> get him back in. And meanwhile, uh, we'll try and see if we can take a uh, a, a, a call and answer. Uh, W10C, uh, you're uh, you're next up in queue. Um, yeah, you have a question. Frank, you there? I said you muted him. Oh, he's back on. Frank, can you hear me? Frank, I'm showing that you're unmuted.
Frank, you there? There you go. I'm unmuted there now. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Some technical difficulties in the uh, in the queue line. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I, I just missed answering that question on, uh, I was talking to myself, just on the uh, True Location Trust. Yeah. A True Location Trust is based on the society in which you live, and there is a list of the two letter codes when you look up uh, further on um, that page of uh, Deed of Right. I'm going to make it clearer for people, but there's a full list there, and I'll make sure you can view it by the indexing or different ways. But uh, anyway, far away. What questions okay. have you got? Wonderful. Uh, next question is from Charlie, 1954. Uh, Charlie, you're on the air. Okay, great. Uh, anybody hear me? Yep. Yep. We hear you. Yeah, I had a few questions for Frank uh, in regards to my EDP and the EIN number. Um, I was, I'm dealing with Ontario in Canada uh, for the vital statistic and vital statistic is part of a government service which is a ministry I was wondering if it wouldn't be best to send it directly to the minister of the government service uh, on behalf of vital statistic okay um, it is terribly frustrating I know to do this Mm -hmm. but there is a reason for, for this. The reason it's asked that you go to the registrar first, even though it is abundantly clear that in many cases the registrar is a fiction, there's a spirit, it's vacant, they don't understand, they won't respond, all these different problems. The reason you're doing it at this level is, is, is because of the significance of the dishonour. You were entered into the system as a child okay. um, by the registrar. Yeah. You um, are going back to the registrar to say, don't keep me in that system. If the registrar does not honour at that level, then that is unfair. Would you agree? Yes. That's the point. You're building from that point. Now, what we need to do is we need to be able to move up from that to perfect the dishonour. And that's exactly what we're doing through the writs and through the steps that I'm showing. Once you have perfected your dishonour with the registrar, then you're going to move it up the line. Because at the end of the day, it's about a permanent remedy. It's not about a quick fix. Yes, you could go to the minister... They could say, I'm terribly sorry. They could give you some platitudes and move on. That doesn't change the fact that at a grassroots level, the system's broken, does it? Yeah. Okay. So you've got to go up the chain, link to link. You've got to perfect the dishonor at the, at the coalface, yeah. and then you've got to go up the chain once it's abundantly clear that there is no honor, in this case, with the registrars. Yes. Okay. Um my second question has to do with the EIN number. Uh, in Canada Revenue, Canada Agency uh, calls it now a, um, a BN number, a business number. Uh, would that do the same? Uh, or is, has anybody in Canada do, did it already? Okay. I'll, I'll, um, the EIN is different. But I, I want to say something about EINs. I didn't discuss it tonight, but just quickly about EINs. The IRS, which is a department of the IMF, ultimately, through circuitous routes, is ultimately part of the IMF, and then is ultimately part of the BIS global banking system, is not honouring the intention of people, nor is it providing clear enough instruction on how to perfect. They're simply treating people with contempt. They're not going heavy-handed, but they're still treating people with contempt. In the next six to eight weeks, by the time we start issuing the saving and helping communities, I will be suggesting to people not to even bother in wasting any more time with the INs because you will be withdrawing your accounts from their system and you'll be pooling those resources with your community, a community that you are part of, a community you have a share of, a community that you care about, hopefully, 
in a community that will be prospering. All right. Okay, so you just uh, you would just open uh, for a ba- banking purse per uh, you would just open up uh, a regular account or business account or something. No, 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 you have your own account of your own bank of your own community. Oh, I see. You're talking about the the Eucadia banking system, or you're talking? No, about well, it's a community. That all that all that the Eucadia system does is provide a backbone for all those communities, but it's the community that owns it, you that own it, yeah? Okay, all right. But I'm just saying, you know, if, you know, we're not here to beat be our head against the wall. I mean, people have asked me over and over, and they're all good questions. You know, how do we get the AIN? Why, do we get, why don't we get the AIN? Why are they, you know, all these things that we At the end of the day, we can say, quite honestly, as they monitor these calls, we have done everything possible to stay in honour in your system and you have done everything possible to be dishonourable. At the end of the day, we just can't afford to waste any more time playing your games. We're not here to play games. Right. All right? So I just want to let you know that. There's about another eight more weeks and we'll literally physically be removing the part on EINs. It will become totally irrelevant. Okay, great. All right? Thank you very much, Frank. Okay, good on you. Yeah, thanks, Charlie, and uh, thank you for answering that, Frank. Uh, again, is this EIN business is we have to show them that we are competent in staying in honor. And, and really, actually, the whole EIN business is a form of courtesy. Uh, uh, to the next caller, yep. it, it is... Uh, uh, or I guess a better way. Uh, you're on the air with uh, with you, Katie, and uh, Frank Collins. Um, hi, Frank. This is Iris. How are you all doing? Hi. Good. Um, yes, I have a question. Um, you had mentioned that um, for those that have sent the EDP to the courts, and you mentioned something about there will be a follow-up EDT, EDP. So are you referring to the same EDP that we use for vital statistics, or will there be another set of EDPs? Another set. Another set, okay. Okay, that was my question. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Iris, and thanks for everyone that you know provides feedback and lets us know how you go. I'm sorry if I, it takes me time to get back on email, but uh, yeah, we're going to work on that. Thanks so much for your question. Uh, the next uh, caller is Mortel. Uh, Mortel, you're on here. Hello. Okay, maybe they've uh, gone into the queue and maybe left for a second. All right. Well, while we're waiting, just a couple of quick things I'm seeing when I'm watching the chat. Eucadia is not affiliated with any other existing entity, whether it be Venus Project, Embassy of Heaven, the Vatican, the Jesuits, the elite anti-Semitic parasites. <laughs> no money has been provided no financial support, there is no organization, I'm not a member of any other entity, this is pure, clean, separate, unique, without any obligations or any subterranean agreements or sub-agreements or agendas, okay? I can't be any clearer than that, okay? Yeah, that's a very, very good point, Frank. And uh, while we're waiting for some uh, for some more callers to uh, get in queue by star eight, uh, let's also be talk about some email questions that was given through uh, through, through either University of U. And by the way, for everybody on the call and for those who listen, is, is please go to university.ukadia.info. And uh, I encourage you to join the forums and get on and grassroots uh, solve some some issues and problems on there. Is one of the uh, emails that was given to me this week was in regards to uh, the 18-digit trust number because there's a yep. lot of misconception and misconstrued information that's being put out as deliberate disinformation regarding the uh, the 18-digit trust registry. Okay. Well, let me let me nail that one. All right. Um, you have a bad idea. The bad idea is that everyone's a slave. 